So today I'm going to look at this thing. It's the Fenersi Electromagnetic Radiation Detector. And they suggested it to me as an option, something to have a look at, so I said, yeah, sure, send it to me. I'll have a look. Now I do actually already have a, I don't know, some kind of detector as well. This sent to me no cost by Fenersi, so I didn't pay for this. It's done for the purpose of review, just to be explicit about it. If I can get into the bag. What else have we got in here? Anything? Charger, cable, USB-C, and a manual. What's it claimed to be able to do? So we've got the back. One amp hour battery, 143 grams. The electric field, magnetic field, RF radiation. Um, now this isn't something I know much about. I, I know a little bit about RF, but you know this is not really my field. So we'll see what we can figure out by looking at it and let's have a play around. So a quick look at the manual first. I'm not going to read it. You read it. Just pause on the frame we want and we'll look at it then. You can probably download it too. I like to play with equipment rather than read the manuals. If I have a question about how something works then I'll read the manual. But generally I like to figure it out myself. Because that way I'll actually remember it. Okay. What we actually got here. Got a unit outside, USB charging port that side, not much on the back there, there's some feet things and there's a little tab over that to protect that, I guess that's a sensor, nothing on that side, it's like there's probably a reset button just there maybe, there's a little hole, it's probably a reset, it's got a lanyard hole thing there too I suppose, left right buttons, mode, ok, hold, settings, power on and go back, that's what it looks like, and obviously it's the ERD10, so let's try to turn it on, here we go. English, we want English. English. Here we go. Excellent, that was easy. Now, settings. No, hold it. Hold it, settings. Okay. Um, let me just try and set the backlight better so we can see. Brightness settings. Is on maximum, okay. That's great. We have a display. So you've got electric field, magnetic field, radiation power. Now this room does have a lot of RF and stuff going on, so there's actually a lot of noise in here. So it's not too surprising that it's picking up a little bit down here, because the Wi-Fi is probably tripping on and off, things like that. So I do actually have another meter we'll look at as well and maybe do some comparisons with. I don't know which is going to be more accurate. I honestly have no idea. Um, I don't have proper equipment for this sort of thing. But I do have another sort of equivalent test of this. Hold. On off. I don't know what it's doing. Nothing, probably. Here we go. It's got a graphing feature too. That's nice. And graphing of that one as well. Graphing of those. Okay. What about the RF? Graphing. Because we've got this down here. Is this going to be purely those? I thought we had RF as well. RF radiation power. Which is... Well, that's showing down here. So it's like, well, okay, why is that one not graphed as well? Hmm. Because I thought that would have been nice. No, it's like... So we've got settings in here for these. So we've got the auto focusing because of the reflection of screen. Sensitivity settings. Units. Power off. Other settings. Let's go in here. So brightness would look at language settings. Style setting. So look at that. Interior mode. Outdoor mode. No. Oh. Easier to see screen, I'm guessing. Let's go back. Back again. I don't know which one's easier to see. I'm not sure. Maybe this one is easy to see. At least for camera. Let's go new again. And there. What else have we got here? Fetch your dollar reset and that's it. Okay. So it's not telling us a huge amount right now. It's doing something. Not a huge amount. 
So it says about magnetic field, so let's get something which is magnetic. This screwdriver here, it's got some magnetism on it. Not detecting that at all. Mm -hmm. The actual magnet. See anything at all? No? Nothing? Mm -hmm. So I've just turned on my IF signal generator, my Marconi 2022D, injecting 10 megahertz on this cable at 800 millivolts. Um, and I'm not really seeing much going on here. I did actually have it like do an alarm at one point. There we go, see that? 39 then. I'm trying to figure out where the sensor is. There you go. So that's electric field. Yeah. Okay, let's try something else. Over here, I have a lamp which I'm currently replacing the bowl on. Let's plug this in and uh, See if we can pick up the electric field from this. There we go, now I can. That's easier. Because interesting the RF was detecting that one. Yeah, anyway, it beeps, apparently. Okay, I don't know what to say about this thing really. Doesn't help that I don't know much about these things. Anyway, I've got this other one here, which I've had for a while. I picked this one up a while ago, probably a couple of years. I left the batteries out of it because this is how much I use it. Let's just drop some batteries in this and see if there's any comparisons we can make between the two units. It's always nice to do comparisons. Now. What are they saying? This one did mention UT or MG readings, so let's go into the settings. Um, units, this one here. There we go, MG. So there we go, so now we've got some similar readings here VM and MG, whatever they actually mean. <laughs> oh, it's not my thing. So side by side, bit of a difference. They're both showing the same kinds of things. This has got the graphic on the power as well. This is much much slower. This is definitely a lot faster. But I don't know. I mean, we got two units here which are doing different things. I don't really know what to check for really. Um, so got the RF here, right, 10 megahertz here. I don't know what we're seeing, you're getting 0.45 mg magnetic electric field 8 volts per meter. I can't be right, surely. 8 VM, IO strength 0 0.01. Come over here. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know, it's like. Let's run this wire behind both of them and see what we get. I, I don't know. What's it actually telling us? Anything? Well, it's telling us there's an electric field, but comparing it to this, I, I've got no idea. Does it do something? Yes. It shows electric field, it shows RF as electric field. The RF on section down here is actually very, very low. I mean, it is showing something up. I mean, maybe at the top there somewhere is where it's the most, but it's sort of pulsing on and off. But I know that's not doing that. So it's pretty hard to review this because I don't even know if it's working properly. You know, even this wasn't really showing that much. 
mean, I don't know. Like I said, this isn't my field. Yeah, I don't know. But then, it's not a particularly strong IF signal. Well, that's what it does. I don't know. I'm going to have to read the manual. That's electric field, but I've already said it's a magnetic field. And you can see I put it close to the auto transformer. It does actually register it. See that? Yep, yeah, it's an auto transformer generating a magnetic field. And when it's turned off, not so much. That could be useful, I suppose. Now, also, you can do the same sort of thing with a magnet. But it's not as effective, in a way. That's what a sensor is, it seems to be right there. I'm sure it's got its uses, but as it's not something I deal with, it's a bit hard for me to judge whether it's any good or not. It detects a magnetic field, it detects an electric field, it's got the alarms, which are really irritating. <laughs> but it could turn those off, I suppose. Yeah, turn it right up. I wonder what it goes to. I don't know, it'll do 55. Then we go to this one as well. Turn this up. Try and get rid of some of these alarms because they're irritating. Yeah, I'll do 120. Back. Right. Still alarms. But now alarms less. So this thing's focusing on. Focus over here. There you go. I'll turn this back on. Now you can see the you see the magnetic field as well. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it is working. Let's take it apart. Alright, let's get this thing apart. It's got four screws I can see. Hopefully that's all of them. Self tappers, but that's fine because it's not really something you normally be opening up. Kind of curious to see what's actually inside it. Probably some inductors and stuff like that. Right. How does this come off? Do you reckon there's more screws hidden somewhere? Or is it just clips? Might just be clips. Okay. Battery there. 1000 milliamp hours as specified in the instructions. Could have been a lot bigger, but probably doesn't need to be. So that's what's inside it. And yes, there is an inductor. That's obviously what's doing the sensing. The chip there, which has been etched off, of course it has. Still something there. Mm, maybe, anyway. So there's the end there, you've got a programming header there. Not a lot. Battery charging management, stuff like that, USB management. Beeper. Also it's display on the other side and button interface, so won't be much on the other side. So it's basically just this sensing circuitry up here. And these or GS8092. Anyway, four oh five six yet yeah, charge management IC, nothing special there. Maybe a little switching IC for the power supply, and also this mystery chip. So you've got sensing here, got this plate on the end, then you've got the inductor as well. So that's probably magnetic and that's probably the EMI. So one goes to that device, one goes to this device. 
Right. Well, thanks for sitting out to me at no cost. Maybe one day I'll figure out what I'm going to do with it. Maybe you can tell me in the comments good uses for this, because I really don't have much of a clue. Obviously, you can sense power cables. Yeah, that may or may not be useful. I don't know. Catch you later.